yo, do we have a response to Jackie Hill Perry's interview in a song form? Word? Let's get the people what they want. The Wado Radio Show. So yesterday we talked about this. Jackie Hill Perry did an interview with Rapzilla, my brother Justin from over there, and he asked her about lyricism and Christian hip-hop and who inspires her, who she's looking to, and she basically said there's not a lot of lyricism in Christian rap. I wouldn't name five people. She named three. And as I said yesterday, she is more than entitled to her opinion. I just think there's a lot of people that disagree with that opinion. And Jay Monty is seemingly one of them. He released a song today called The Caterpillar, which is not a diss track. It's not a diss track. It's actually a track where he bigs up all the people. I shouldn't say all the people, but he bigs up 30 different Christian rappers. And it's funny because some people have even mentioned in comments on some of the posts that he has posted, man, this is the first time this has happened. It's not the first time this has happened. Um, my dude TSO did a record a few years ago called Reminisce, where he talked about a lot of the artists that have influenced him over the years in that song. And I've, I've played that on my radio show. I've done Instagram reels, DJing with it. But um, I get it. It wasn't as widespread. And it kind of came out kind of before this latest internet boom. So some people may have missed it, but it is on streaming platforms. Um, I want to, I'm, I'm so for my people on YouTube, if you want to hear the song right now, it's linked in the description. Um, for my people on the radio, I'm getting ready to play the song in a minute. I want to talk through some of these lyrics though. And I want to talk about why this record is so significant. So here's a couple things, man. Um, first up, he starts off, he says, let me put these lyrics up. I'm getting ready to just start reading these joints. Let me put these lyrics up. He says, Christian rappers been killing beats for a minute. This that funeral rap. We don't look for plaques like a dentist boy. We shrewder than that. He's saying, look, man, we're not doing this for the fortune and the fame. We're doing this because we want to reach people with this message. He said, the lowly get exalted, biblical facts peak the reverse. If you a caterpillar, he'll make you a pillar to cats. Okay? Now, you think about the caterpillar morphing into a butterfly. And he's saying God can do the same thing in your life. He can make you a pillar to cats. Even if you're starting as a caterpillar and you're lowly and you are humble. He's saying he can morph you into a pillar from a caterpillar. I love that. Okay. Where we at? Shout out to Bizzle. That's a lyrical mathematician. He mastered the pen and pad. He'll slash a tendon if you skip a class. Okay. He actually shouts Bizzle out a couple times in here. I love that he bigs up some of the women. Ty Lynn will make you throw the talent. She really rap and she does. And Bat's been swinging for the fences since Similac. Um, let me skip down here. D Will been saving all the dogs like he Peter with it. Don't get it twisted. He'll cut you up like he Peter with it. <laughs> I love that D Will got that shout out. I also love the fact that he talks about D will doing that work in the hood. Cause he'd been doing that in Buffalo for a long time. This makes me think I actually did a show with D will in New York at SOBs. I DJ for him and we actually opened up for Cardi B and this is before she blew up. But D will been about that life, man. I just want y'all to know that he been, he been about that thing, right? Shout out to Caleb Gordon. He reversing them family curses Get your dictionary if Linnell grants you a verse and don't play with Flojic. That's bogus. She stay colder than Magonia. KB will have you living on a prayer. He'll Bon Jovia. Paris, Chariz ain't playing. Jared Sanders ain't playing. Aaron Cole ain't playing. Tori Deshaun will spit a story and switch and go super saiyan on you. I'm, I'm not going to go through all of these, but you get the gist. He even shouts out Jackie at the end of this. And watch out for Jackie. That's if you were. Uh, Cheerio spitter. You know she a serial killer. Love is a step away. It was dark, but we headed for better days. Listen, man, um, this is not a diss track. This is a big up track. I think we I think we need this in the community, man. I think this was a very biblical approach. Clearly, her comments and statements ruffled some feathers and bothered some people. And I think that's I think that's okay. I think it's it's healthy dialogue. You know what I mean? It's not an attack. I think 
Most people respect Jackie Hill Perry as a person, as a lyricist, as an artist, as an author, as a Bible teacher. I think people just strongly disagree with her statement there. And I think that's okay. You know what I mean? I think that's okay to have those conversations. Um, and, and I'll say this, man, from a, just from a little bit of a history, historical standpoint, this song, I think, is going to be a very significant thing in this space. And I know it just came out today. I'm trying to not do the hyperbole thing. I'm trying to not, but, and I'm trying to not be a prisoner at the moment. But I just, I, I just, I need to say this. I mean, for a long time, man, there was a lot of division in Christian rap. And a lot of us were a part of that. And we we celebrate older generations of the music because of what the music meant and the message and how a lot of us were on mission during that time. But if we're honest, there was a lot of division that was also occurring during that time, right? You had ministry philosophy division. You had theological division. You had geographical division. The internet wasn't what it was then. Like you had all these things that were separating us and it seeped into the music, it seeped into the community, it seeped into the fan bases. Like, it it, 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 it it, even became a competitive type thing. And listen, man, I honor all the people who came before me, the cross movements, the tunnel rats, the grits, the Stephen Wileys, the Soldiers for Christ, the PIDs, the Gospel Gangsters, the T-Bones. Like, I'm going to miss some people. The, the, you know what I mean? Like the, the Danny D boy Rodriguez, like there's so many people, but it, like, let's not act like everything was all unified and everyone was moving in unison. And even when you fast forward to the cross movement, reach, Lent Mo era, there was more than three crews back then, but those were the three that was considered the cool kids table. Right. And, and, and if you weren't at those tables, you were shunned or you were looked at as an outsider because that was carryover from the previous generation of things that were taking place. And so you fast forward, swoop drop, same team. What was that 2014, somewhere around there, 2015. And that was a game changer. That was the first time you had artists from different crews all on the same track. Nah, let me take that back. The Breaks, shout to my brother Ruslan. They did a record called um, Get Busy. It was a remix. I actually was on that record myself, and he had people, Ruslan had, had gotten people from different crews on that joint too. But you just didn't have a lot of that, and you certainly weren't having records made where we shouting out people that, man, we don't even do music with. <laughs> we haven't toured with. I may not even know these people on a deep level, but I respect what they do because I see the impact of what they're doing. And I think that, my friends, is what this community needs to be all about. And I think when you look at this younger generation, they're doing that. <laughs> like, like they've been doing that. They've been on that. And it's not perfect, but it's definitely not like what, what it was. And so, man, again, I just want to salute Jay Monty for this record because – it's important. We need it. The community needs it. I think there was a wound that was opened by Jackie's comments, and I don't think she did it on purpose, but I think there was a wound that was opened, and I think this record is one of the things that can provide some healing because, again, there's a lot of people in this community that put in a lot of work that's very gifted when it comes to bars, and I think that needs to be celebrated. Hey, family, thank you so much for tuning in. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear your thoughts on what we were just discussing. Also, if you want to book me for your next event, whether you got a concert, a party, a youth function, a corporate event, whatever it is, send us an email. It's booking at wadeoradio.com. I'd love to DJ your next event.